Hello, everyone. Welcome to this episode of iGem Around the Globe. I'm your host for tonight, and today we'll be joining Team Great Bay China. We'll talk about their valuable iGem experience and some of the challenges they've met along the way. So make sure to check it out. Welcome, Alexi and Sean.、Um, it's very nice. It's a pleasure to have you guys here today. So、um, why don't we start with some self introduction first? Yeah, sure.、Uh, how about how about Sean go first? Well, I, hi,、um, I'm Sean from、uh, Great Bay China 2018, and very happy to come here. And I'm Alexis.、Uh, I was the team leader, one of the team leaders of Great Bay China 2018. Pleasure to be here. Yeah, it's been a very long time since we've last spoken.、Um, 2018,、um, the winter camp. So yeah, it's just really nice to have you to have you guys here. So、um, let's just start with the interview. Um, um, so the first question、um, that I'm gonna throw to you guys is: Do you guys still have any like interesting or like pressuring moments or memory that you can still recall or you want to share、um, from iGen? Oh gosh,、um, I think. There are simply way too many, and、uh, but the things that I can still remember now are basically all about how we supported each other as a team during very difficult times.、Um, I still remember、um, it was it was during the summer holiday, and I was working very late in the lab with one of our teammates. Uh, his name is Rocky, and I think it was Rocky's first time、uh, doing wet lab, and、uh, the experiment that day failed very miserably. And we were staring at the gel electrophoresis result, <laughs> and was really devastated.、Um, but at that point,、um, I I was trying to be positive and encourage Rocky.、Um, at, But I think later,、uh, when we、uh, approaches the wiki freeze,、uh, everybody became really tired, and I was also really tired. But the reason why I was still、uh, fighting is because I I saw like everyone, every teammate was still trying really hard, and I cannot I cannot give up when they are still working this hard. And yeah, it was such a great. Such a great experience working with these lovely people. What about Sean? Well, if we talking about interesting memory, I I cannot forget that time.、Um, Charles used the smart card、uh, mixture to in the ligation experiment, and he do that ligation. For two weeks, I remember. <laughs> yes. And until we try to debug, and we see his、um, lab record, and then we find actually he's using the、uh, smart smart card、uh, mixture in the ligation, because we、um, we we separate those mixture in in、uh, PISA tube. And they looks quite similar, and he just you <laughs> use the wrong mixture for a long time. Yeah, I remember that one as yeah, well. Yeah, we over like. I think he <laughs>、uh, at at the、yeah. end he had to buy McDonald's for all of us as a as a I don't know as a yeah, as, <laughs> as, as apology, a <laughs> compensation yeah, for you guys. Of. <laughs> yeah, we all have moments like that. I remember one of my um so. The previous iGem team,、um, as to when I did it, so they they were after they run a gel, they got too excited, and it just kind of you know they slipped and the gel just <laughs> fell on the floor, and it's like oh all the work they've done was like gone. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's quite traumatizing.、Oh. Yeah, we all have moments like that. It has been like three years or something since um 2018,、yeah. right? Yeah. When you guys um. Won the grand prize in high school division. That was a、um, really great achievement. So, just looking back to your iGem journey,、um, 
What do you think is like the most important feature that makes like a good and、uh, very successful team, like eye gen team? Well,、um, I would say, yeah. So I would definitely say it's the team <clears throat> spirit、uh, and how committed each members are in the team. I think、um, what really matters to make a good eye gen team is having. A good team spirit and、um, and good commitment from each and every member,、um, because I think especially for high school、uh, teams, a lot of us has to balance、uh, our university application, our school works, and other extracurricular activities, and we we don't always、um, have that much time to put into iGym, but if Um, but if if、uh, too many people in the team are trying to avoid doing work, then this team will definitely will break apart. So I think it's、um, a very important role of the team leaders and also、uh, advisors and just every member to make sure that they in, they invest a sufficient amount of.、Um, Time for the entire team, and they actually make the effort to know each other, to make friends with each other. Because if you don't enjoy with the people、uh, that's in your team, then then you're not going to have a good IGM experience. If you get me. Yeah, I do get you. Like commitment is the key、um, to IGM because you're really sacrificing a lot to、um, for the project. And you don't want to let anyone down, so it's about teamwork and cooperation. Yeah, definitely. And how to build like a cohesive, cohesive、um, team spirit.、Um, is there anything you want to add? I think、um, a fatal,、uh, a fatal thing for every team is its politics. Once, once people in the team start to play politics, then this team will it, it would. It, Just doesn't work because if people in the team are trying to fight each other instead of、uh, working towards a, the same goal, then then it's definitely not going to work out. And I've seen it in quite a lot of teams、uh, having like, and especially common in teams with multiple key opinion leaders. So I would say, yeah, it's to. I don't know. I don't know what is the best way to sort it out, but I, I think we are quite lucky that we didn't we didn't came across this problem. I think members yeah,、uh, should support、mm-hmm. each other in difficult time because we during the IGM we actually facing a lot of different and difficult、uh, challenge and.、Um, We might feel nervous or feel bad when our experiments or other mission was failed. This time is very important that your、uh, team member can support you or give you more help and try to、uh, figure out a solution for those problems. I think that is what I pretty enjoy in in Ijun. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, and the, it's the, very the important for the success.、Okay. Yeah, um, exactly. It's just um, teamwork is essential in almost everything. Like when you get into society, you just can't work alone.、Yeah. Everything has to be built on a team base, and you have to know how to interact with people, how to um, yeah, how to make effective communication with people, and yeah, to 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 build a to build an actual 100%. project. Hundred percent, and I think um. The most important thing in teamwork is to be a, to be an active communicator, because、um, some people, maybe more introverted people,、um, they're not very used to、uh, be very outspoken about their thoughts and their feelings, and it, at this point, it would be very important for、uh, another person, maybe the team leader, maybe I don't know. Maybe another team member to、uh, actually check on them, ask how are they doing? Do they need any help or not? Yeah. Um. 
yeah, that's like one of the responsibility of a yeah. team leader to make sure everyone feels comfortable working in um, in this kind of environment. So no one is being, uh, no one felt being left behind, and everyone feel like they are contributing. They're actually a huge part of the team. Yeah, I totally agree on um, what you guys have said, and yeah, and that's probably why you guys can make it. Um, so far to the to the grand prize because <laughs> you have a very great team. I think we are very lucky. Um, yes, very lucky yes, to have yeah. such amazing people. Yeah, what do you think is one of like the most challenging part of iGen, like in your experience? Wiki freeze. <laughs> Wiki freeze. <laughs> yeah, that's everyone's not. Yeah. Here. Oh my gosh, such. Yeah. I I I still feel very. Nervous thinking about Ricky Freeze even till now. Yeah. Are you getting yes. PTSD? Yes, definitely. <laughs> kind of. uh, I think um, at some point, if if even if I'm watching videos of uh, molecular biology experiments, I got well, my heart rate starts to accelerate. It's it's not just about Ricky Freeze; it's about <laughs> the iGym experience on the whole. Yeah, it's, yeah, it can just always makes me a very, I don't, always makes me very excited. Always makes your heart pump faster. It's about that passion when you're tr really trying to realize something, yeah. right? Um, well, I think yeah. looking back on our iGEM journey, I think um, the most challenging thing is definitely managing and finishing such a big project because the MCATnet project can be broken down into three modules and each of these modules can become a standalone iGEM project uh, because yeah there are just so many things that need to be done so it, it was our biggest concern right from the start um, and we did a lot of things trying to cope with it we started wet lab really early. I think we started at the end of March or beginning of April. And I think we spent um, a lot more time than, um, than I think maybe the average team at that time. Because, um, yeah, we would make sure there were at least maybe three to four people in the lab uh, during the summer holiday. And after the new term has started, um, we have to go to school, but we still make sure that someone will be in the lab uh, after 6, 6 p.m. Uh, when we've gone off school. And we'll work there until maybe 11 or 12 in the night. And then we'll go back home and get up really early the other day for school. Uh, yeah, it was, it was really exhausting, but I think we really get this experience of fighting so hard to get something so i i kind of appreciate it yeah it's like it's a massive commitment what you guys have done um just <laughs> almost sleeping at the yes. lab just working well, to 12. we we did slept in the lab a lot um yeah we have a a word that we called uh who was do overnight experiment uh, experiment <laughs> yes. I th well, at the beginning, we would, because it, it was a new experience, it was very exciting sleeping in the lab. I mean, if you think mm -hmm. of this, sleeping in yeah. the lab, any, any <laughs> high school student yeah. would be attracted to it. But after that, because we slept in the lab, in the lab too, too many times, and we just, but yeah, but there was a, um, a dedicated wall on our lab. And yeah, it, it's quite interesting. <laughs> yeah like a like a hall of fame yeah. <laughs> who has made it but what kind of um um equipment you guys have do you guys have a sleeping bag or do you guys just just blankets you slip on the floor uh slip on the sofa, sofa yeah sofa. Sofa. Uh, a sofa <laughs> okay oh i remember there was a sofa uh, in that it was the same lab that we did the winter yeah, in, right it's the same lab yeah yeah, that's quite some commitment. <laughs> after iGEM, after you've finished, um, have gone through so much stuff, you haven't experienced, 
might be your first time sleeping in the lab, your first time doing a PCR clone. Um, so what do you think it's the, besides all the lab stuff and all that, what do you think it's the most important and grateful skill that you've acquired um, um, after iGen or during iGen? I think is how to cooperate and communicate with the other group member. And um, I think what I learned is um, like, for example, when you try to do something and you know you might not able to do it by yourself you might need help you should ask for help immediately not wait until you cannot finish it on time then you say okay guys i cannot make it down but when the deadline is already there it's too late i think just on a final note um do you guys have any final message that you want to um, share to the future iGemers or like current iGemers who's who's working their uh, working their way towards the the Jamboree? Well, I think uh, when you are competing in the iGem competition, when you have worked hard for this project for an entire year, it's uh, very easy to get fixated on the awards and nominations. But now the things I've realized is that those things, yes, they are great, but they are the least important part in your iGym journey. Um, because what really matters is what you've learned, it's your actual experience through the process. It's not about awards. And so I would, I would suggest just um, completely immerse yourself into the competition, work hard, and uh, try not to think too much about getting awards. Yeah, true. The kind of utilitarianism comes after the, the actual devotion and commitment. So you learn more more about the process than the end result. What I want to say is, Ijun actually is a very exciting um, adventure that you might learn something that you never expected and you might be surprised about it. Um, just enjoy it and make a good play in this um, iGen. Yeah, um, absolutely. Um, absolutely agree. Just enjoy the journey. Yes, and, and, and you will learn see. a lot of things that you never expect, not the uh, reward but some skills that you can really uh, use in the future. Yeah, and it can be a starting point yeah. for a lot of things. It opens so many doors. Yeah. Terrific. Um, I'm glad to hear you guys have um, gained so much um, out of iGEM. And yeah, I hope all the current and future or past iGEMers um, can get um, what they want to get out of it. So. They can maybe get more out of what they originally expected. And I think, yeah, that's just the beauty of iGEM, the beauty of um, synthetic yeah, biology. Definitely. Yeah. So thank you guys so much for um, coming here, sparing your time today. Um, it has been a pleasure talking to you guys. Hey, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode of iGEM Round of Blow. And there's more episodes to come.